All right, well, I'm ready to start whenever. Oh, we were on an option, right? We were examining the scattered toolware, dive into the well. We were going to dive into the well. Yeah, that sounds like something we'd do. All right, I'm going to press it. Don't put your tail in my drink, cat. What a great way to start the video. Yeah, all right. <laughs> dive into the well. Let's do it. Probably. Oh, God, I forgot. It's been so long since we played this. <laughs> uh, probably I will be able to find there something really useful. When a child, I learned from the travelers that the treasures may be found in most unexpected places. This is a journey. Yes. I threw one of the shining rocks into the well, and it had been moving for some time, going out slowly till it stopped completely. There was a dark square figure in the bottom. Was I right? I looked closely, trying to estimate the depth. I may try. Having taken my clothes off, I put my feet. <laughs> okay, I put my feet. It was cold, but I could bear it. Ooh. I dove into it. As I was swimming down, I noticed the rough edges of the walls, and I also saw several offshoots. Well, I don't feel like investigating the underwater caves as long as I am not any fish and don't have gills. <laughs> Having reached the bottom, I took the rock I had previously threw there and lightened the surface. Yes, here is a trunk. <laughs> Probably these old caves were not under the water as there is something like this. It. I took slightly slippery box and swan up. <laughs> Alright, swan. It should be swan, I guess. I swan up. Aww. <laughs> I almost ran out of oxygen. It's interesting whether those wolves hurried to help me. Having opened a small coffer, I saw many uncut gemstones there. I know someone who will be glad to see that boon. Of course, I could appropriate this treasure, but I don't have that mania. Oh god. I think this was you, and I was the Scooby-Doo one. It, this is the older oh. guy, I guess? I just cannot remember now. Oh well, if we're switching voices, too bad. Stop the searching. You can turn back here later, when... Well, we all handle that monster. Yep, I know. Suddenly, crash sound was heard. <laughs> Something happened in the biggest grotto where we came from to this small hall. Apparently, a piece of rock fell and some small earth followed. Or earthquake followed. But the crash is getting harder. What's going on? The wolves laid back their ears. It was hard for them to bear those noisy sounds because of their peculiar hearing. The squealing sounds are reaching my ears from the backside of the wall during the continuous crash. Are those ants who are screaming? It crosses my mind. It could be Shan who is hurrying to help us. I'm just picturing screaming ants right now, and it's funny. <laughs> 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 then I threw that idea back. The she-wolf was clear, and we needed to expect first before she came. So I have grave doubts she would have come here so early. I think we should delay our going out. My followers silently agreed. Dots, and after some time, the squealing sounds disappeared. I began to feel hungry. Having glimpsed at wolves, I noticed them watching me in a very strange way. It seems they are hungry too. I think we must get out of here, so you must half open the door and I throw the shining stone and check then. If something terrible happens, you must close it very quickly, okay? The black wolf dropped his body to the lever and the corpse of the previously stamped ant dropped near the threshold. I threw the shining ball into the darkness. There was real chaos behind that door. The corpses of the milled ants were scattered here and there. Some legs of the ants are still moving in convulsion. Ew. The safe and sound mountainous elemental is standing far away. However, it is covered with acid. It seems the elemental ignored me. I stepped out of a half-closed door and turned back to the wolves. It seems that giant and the ants had a real fight. In the end, all the ants are crushed. Some terrifying power is lying in that elemental. If Maze Masters and Shen decided to get a real fight with this creature, then it must be their problem, not mine. However, it hadn't shown any aggression towards us yet. Does it have mind? There is possibility it crushed the insects, not exactly by chance, and it may have been a cruel attempt to help us. But I may still be mistaken. Anyway... Why do the owners of the mine are enemies with this creature? <laughs> Jesus. The last question sounded aloud. My people hardly know these spirits, but sometimes we noticed that the 
demons use them as their slaves. Apparently, that monster didn't like that. Demons? Anyway, the path is ready now, and if that elemental wants to cause us harm, then we cannot do anything. Okay. We're not gonna ask about the demons? Nope. Nope, we just accept it. Alright. Probably go back and play cards. Sweet deal. I and the wolves hurried to the exit. The elemental kept going back and forth around the wider cave. I am glad he expresses no interest towards us. Did you just assign it gender? He did! Oh, the audacity! Bastard. On our way back, we were not disturbed even by the ants. Apparently having lost many of their buddies, they didn't even care about us anymore. Flick! No! Aww. This is a completely different bug's life. <laughs> Having come to the upper level and having crossed the tiny bridge, I noticed Lynn. She washed something in the stream I had found before. When she saw me, she was very frightened. Did she think I am a ghost? I glimpsed at slightly seen reflection under the dim light and understood why she was so frightened. I suppose she thought a walking dead had come for her soul, and I was completely covered with blood, dust, and acid slime. It's strange after I had swum in the well that I didn't get rid of that dirty. Of course, I didn't try my best, but still... The wolves left me alone and rushed to repot. Repot, Shen. <laughs> repot. She's a beautiful flower. She's a mandrake. Oh, God. About what they had seen. What has happened to you? You are so disheveled. Well, nothing serious. There was a slight fight with the ants that were as big as my wolves. What the hell? Sparkle freezing ants are not supposed to be of that size. What's the uh, hell? <laughs> True. I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah, you me neither. Me both. <laughs> the stream is rich in gold, as I can judge, and you don't lose your business acumen. Did you find much of it? You confiscated all the coins you had desired so much, so why are you so busy with it now? You have been absent for so much time, and I decided to amuse myself. Besides, sitting here is warmer than sitting outside. Apparently, there is a huge golden mine which is lying in the cave. I wish I could have opened the true pit here. The gold would have flown into my pockets then. I am not sure. The local werewolves and the previous owners of Elberot would be glad to the miners. If we clean up the mine, they will want to return. We could agree with the wolves, as I can judge, if we promise them a share of the mine income. Why do wolves need that gold? They don't need money. They're living in the woods. It's their current way of thinking. We could bring them the fruits of civilization and their children won't recollect those out-of-date traditions. Howling at the moon, let's say. But if now they're completely happy, didn't you think about that? Happy or not, I don't care for that. I think we could agree with them anyway. They would even solve our problem with magicians. They won't just let them in and that's it. What predatory plans you have. She really took after her father. His heritage is in reliable hands. You're right, they are predatory, but I won't give up. Okay, it's enough about my plans. Will you give me more details about your exploration? At least my future miners will live here. Uh, the abandoned village of Maze Masters is located there, and it was abandoned because of the appearance of a giant mountainous elemental. I'm not sure how it really appeared, whether it was dug out or spelled, or maybe it came all by itself. However, it... whatever, but it is very powerful, and I know that for sure. Do you think it is the reason for all of their disasters? Honestly speaking, I'm not sure. It's a hard question. When we were cornered by those gigantic ants, it crushed all of them, and now I can hardly think about it as something bad. I didn't say about how I was almost fried with the lightning from its body. And apparently, it had its mind. So why did the inhabitants run away? The wolves said the elementals like this creature were used as slaves. So if the giant really lost its temper, then it wouldn't be so calm now. And I couldn't find the human bodies. Hmm. 
I'm not surprised a bit. Did you remember that cute water spirit in May's house? Those magic idiots probably really don't have the reason to treat well with those cuties, because they are just slaves for them. And they most likely wanted to own that mountainous monster when they found it. Ha ha ha. But they had a bad luck. And the mine is free for me. She's gone crazy. Oh yeah, very crazy. Don't the giant ants make you feel confused? And what about that suspicious giant? I doubt Elbarat could be called free. However, it still made some sense. But I doubt those ideas will please me. As per treasure... I have found something interesting for you. I took the small chest with the gems out and stretched it to the girl. The mountain keeps not only gold. Her eyes became bright when she opened the lid. A moist girl with a moist chest. Mm, fantastic! They are so big! Where did you find them? In the lowest level, in some hall, where they were apparently obtained. Probably it was a drowned path, and I initially thought it was a well. I present them to you because your family gave me a hand, and it helped me with my father. I... I can't accept them. Unexpectedly, but Lin's conscience has finally woken up. Whoa. Uh... Please take them as a sign of my debt... Please take them as a sign of the debt of my family. There we go. One of the gems will look great on an engagement ring. Oh! -ha! Well, we did say we were going to romance her. We did! So, so are we doing the engagement ring one? Yes. Okay. I'm not saving. I'm just going with it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> one of the gems will look great on an engagement ring. You... What have you just said? I feel it was unexpected for her, but she herself hinted at that. Oh, that happened. Oh, yay! <laughs> I stretched to her like a snake. She didn't Ugh. start to run away, and I slightly put my tongue into her mouth. I... I... I do agree. She shrank back from me and closed her face with her hands. She's so cute, but here is not the right time and place for that. I slightly passed my hand over her hair and put that trunk into her bag. Now, we must go and discuss all the details with Mei and Shan. Let's go. Uh-huh. We're never going to tell them. her that we jacked off onto her. Oh, uh, no. No. It's our that little secret. That would ruin the magic. <laughs> <laughs> they say romance is dead. 